All right, let's get into this. Stephen A. Smith. Woo! And Doug Gottlieb. Woo! <laughs> Woo! What did this Kendrick say? Woo! A shoe! Hey, they got into it. It's real. It's real. Um, I'm going to tell y'all this because I know this. Uh, I know, so, you know, in, in beefs, I ain't the one. I don't like beef. I ain't the one, like Ice Cube said, because I like too many things about people. So let's give you the extreme. Stephen A. Smith, all right. Uh, Doug Gottlieb right here. We got Jason Whitlock, Max Kellerman, all of them. I like parts of all of them. I don't like none of them all the way because frankly, I know I ain't perfect. So I don't think you perfect, but I rock with those dudes in capacities. Now, they don't rock back with me. That's going to be a them problem, not a me problem, right? But I know all of them. So therefore, I hear what they don't like about each other. See, a lot of people ain't gangster like me. A lot of people don't walk around with their shoulders down like, whatever, dog. I ain't tripping. A lot of people don't laugh at themselves. They don't laugh at stuff. They take themselves seriously. Or, oh, like, you know, like, I ain't built like that, dog. I don't been through way too much to be mad at some dude with a microphone. <laughs> what? And this ain't no studio gangster over here. You really want some beef? Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm bigger in person than you think. So I don't have problems. So I hear all these dudes be telling their stuff. And I always say like this, dog, you can tell him better than me. I, that's my, ask my wife. Every time somebody comes to me with a problem, like, you can tell them better than me. I don't want to hear it, but I do hear it. <laughs> so I do know that Doug Gottlieb and Stephen A. Smith quietly don't got no love for each other. No love. But you can hear it for yourself because I want you to know what Doug Gottlieb said about Stephen A. Smith in terms of his coverage, specifically what Angel Reese and that's a whole conversation in itself. Everybody wants to talk about Angel Reese and if you black talk about Angel Reese, you better prop her up or they coming for your head, right? Well, Doug Gottlieb like, um, let me just tell you what I've been witnessing is you on these topics. So let me read not less video. Let me read what Doug Gottlieb had to say. Hopefully I can see it. All right, here we go. This is gangster. Let me state this really carefully. I think it's supposed to be real carefully. I don't know. Stephen A. Smith is a race baiter. Yeah, dang. He is disgraceful saying that on national TV. Disgraceful. J.J. Reddick and LeBron James are clearly friends. They have a relationship. They have mutual respect for one another. The only one who's making it out to be a racial thing is Stephen A. Smith. He is creating this. This is honestly pure evil. That's what bad people do. All right, um, all right, let's read the second paragraph. Let's see what he got to say. This is just as bad as the perception that President Trump stokes the white nationalist flame. Uh oh, here we go. Same thing. There's no difference. No difference. None. Godly continue making it out to be somehow a racial thing. How could you do a podcast with JJ Reddick? Because they're friends and he respects them. LeBron James is also friends and respects Ty Lue, who coached him to an NBA championship. That's one okay because Ty Lue, former NBA player, is black. JJ Reddick, former NBA player, is white. How is that any different? You're not allowed to be friends with a white person? Huh, take that away. So we heard from Doug Gottlieb. Um, I understand what he's saying, and I'm about to respond to what he's saying, but I'm going to let the man who he's talking about respond first. Stephen A. Smith, go get your boy. Let's hear this. This for the platform of First Take, even though I said it on the Stephen A. Smith show. Let me repeat it again to let everybody know I didn't <laughs> stutter, okay? Black coaches called the black commentator to complain about a black superstar doing a podcast while his black head coach was on the hot seat before he ultimately lost the damn job. What does that have to do with white folks? Some things are none of your damn business. Nothing. It was a, it was a black on black thing, but you got other folks who will remain nameless working with, with, with for other networks with their irrelevant <laughs> ass selves, <laughs> popping their junk. Okay, and the fact of the matter is, it has absolutely positively nothing to do with that. It's about the fact that this situation end up looking the way that it looks optically, and now LeBron James is gonna have to go out on that basketball court. With what you said, Shay Shay, knowing that J.J.'s got to walk into that locker room with what Udonis Haslam said in terms of, hey, when J.J. talks, you're going to have people raising that proverbial eyebrow, wondering whether it's coming from him or whether you it's coming from, from LeBron. Yeah. All those things you're going to have to deal with. That's just the reality of the situation. Wasn't that just some gumbo or gossip? Oh, my God. That was some BS right there. Let me tell you why it was BS. Because what is LeBron indicted with? What's the charges on LeBron? 
Okay. That he uh, did a podcast for the white guy. No, that's not the ultimate charge. That's not a charge, right? You can do a podcast black and white, right? So what's the what's the charge? The timing. You did a podcast with a white guy while a black head coach was under scrutiny on the hot seat. Is I gotta go court, I gotta go court for that? <laughs> like, if I'm LeBron, I'm like what? Like dog. Nobody told my black head coach to not coach us to a championship. Like you can outplay that indictment, right? You can outplay the scrutiny. You can outplay that hot seat. Hot seat coach. Don't put that on me. This is what sports teaches you. This is when you play real sports, high-level sports, you realize, I ain't got nobody to blame, bro. <laughs> it's on me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no I in team, but there is a me in team. So what is the real charge on LeBron? Like, I'm going to defend LeBron, first and foremost. He did nothing wrong, dog. I want to do a podcast. I want to do it with J.J. Reddick. I would hope J.J. Reddick becomes a coach. I would hope he becomes my coach. Stephen A hooks up so many people. He hooked up Shannon Sharp. Soon Shannon Sharp got fired from uh, FS1. Boom. What, is that, that's all to the good? Okay, so why can't LeBron do it? Oh, he can't hook up JJ Reddick because he given a white guy an opportunity over a black guy. You ever think maybe he thinks the white guy knows more about basketball than the black guy? And maybe he doesn't. But the point is, maybe the black guy ain't working out and who's next? Just so happens to be a white guy. Never think that. Okay. Uh, So there's no real charges on LeBron. Let's stop this. Let's stop. Let's stop thinly veiling things like, okay, we're going to act like LeBron did something so wrong so I can get my opinion really out there. Let's stop that. And what's funny about it is this is why I know I'm right. Now, people can argue back and forth. It's BS because (laughs) what if that just happened to be Steve Kerr doing a podcast with Steph Curry? Back in the days. Oh, what are you doing, Steph? And Mark Jackson on the hot seat. What are you doing, man? And then look how that turned out. I digress. Um, two, <laughs> Doug Gottlieb is irrelevant. This is what cracks me up when people say that. If somebody's irrelevant, then you wouldn't either respond to them or you wouldn't have heard what they said to respond to it. Because <laughs> they're irrelevant. But obviously, Doug Gottlieb's not irrelevant. But that's a shot. And pride comes before the fall. That's a shot. That's a shot of Doug, and Doug need to take that shot. Now, what was Doug talking about? Like, I like I right, I told you what Stephen A said and what I don't agree with. What Doug talking about? Doug basically like, look, I'm a white guy who played basketball. This is his experience. And look, as much as we hear in this country and we know in this country that you, Stephen A. Smith, is a black man and is a minority. When I played basketball, I was a minority. (laughs) And let me just tell you one thing. Uh, I hear you when you want to talk about issues and plight. Because I had to deal with my own. And when it comes to basketball, that's why sports is supposed to be protected. That's why I talk about these guys, whether they like it or not. Because I had to tap out of what I was doing in sports media. Because I don't like the spirit of it. I don't like the direction of it. I don't like how they get down. And that's where we are. And I'm going to sit here in my basement studio, in my house with no traffic, talking about everything and everybody. Why not for you? Why not for me and my clicks and my likes? I'm not tripping. I know how to get more likes. <laughs> I, trust me, I can make those videos all day. I'm doing it because I got an itty bitty. I got itty bitties. I don't know about my daughters yet, but <laughs> I got one boy that's playing ball. And he balling. And I'll be damned if I let these dudes, whether they played or not, but especially the ones who didn't play, stain his brain, soil it, do the J.J. Reddick on him. This boy balling, all of a sudden he's starting to get recruited. All of a sudden he's starting to get love. All of a sudden he's starting to get NIL. All of a sudden he started getting some uh, recruitment to college. All of a sudden he may go pro. Who knows? Maybe he stopped playing tomorrow. Point is, let him enjoy that without y'all just guessing or projecting what y'all feeling, or making it racial. So now he passed the ball at the end to the white guy on the team. So Jordan had a, Jordan made Steve Kerr and John, oh my God, John Paxson, you, you uplifted him. You should have uplifted Scottie Pippen. <laughs> See, it's so stupid, this race conversation. Um, 
What Doug Godley was mad at is simple. He was mad that Stephen A. Smith injected race into this. Is Stephen A. Smith a race hustler? Is Stephen A. Smith a race baiter? Absolutely. He's not alone. And when they do it again, I will call them out. Um, and what do I mean by that? This is people getting their feelings. I'm not a feelings type person. Matter of fact, my therapist say I need to get in my feelings a little bit more because a race baiter or a race hustler is someone who unnecessarily injects race into conversations or unnecessarily makes a conversation based on race when it has nothing and I mean nothing to do with it. The insecurity of someone who is of a certain race, Stephen A. Smith being black, Doug Gottlieb being white, your insecurity shows when you say stuff like, oh man, you didn't hook the brother up. I, I, and there's no defense. My last point is this. All these black coaches call in Stephen A. Smith with his platform because he's the biggest, baddest thing out there that in sports media that's black. No denying that, right? Black coaches calling you, which I still don't believe, but hey, I know the tricks. But it happened. Let's say it happened. You said it happened. You now saying, I'm saying all this because they telling me this and this is going to be bad and LeBron going to have to answer to it. Answer to what? Answer to what? Irrelevant. Like LeBron to them coaches. Irrelevant. <laughs> right? As Stephen A. Smith said to Doug Ali. Let me say this. Stephen A. Smith hearing from black coaches because he got the biggest black platform. On a white network. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. When you say this is a black thing, stay out of this. This ain't this ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Yee! Be careful, man. It ain't got nothing to do with it. You just ran out there and screamed that to an audience that ain't just all black on a network that is not owned by black people. I'm not going to let them do this to my kids and your kids either. Y'all already gone. We lost all y'all. All y'all who gonna argue in the comments, we lost y'all. <laughs> if you don't see through this, we lost you. <laughs> we lost you. If y'all gonna let them do this to sports, and he brought in politics, which they already did that to politics, right? We know. Politics been gone. <laughs> and we gonna let them get sports too? Fight this stuff, man. Fight this.